Hi everybody, it's Diggly here. Now, you might remember a while ago I made the fiddle stick, which Belinda's now got, and um, someone on YouTube uh, made some nice comments about it and asked me whether I'd mind putting a video together of how to make one. Well, as a coincidence, I was round at Bug's place the other night and picked up uh, a violin to convert to a fiddle stick, so uh, I can show you how to do it. Um, this is the little fiddle. You can see it's had the neck cut off. It's, this is a half size, so it's 31 centimetre back. The last one was 3 quarters, which is 33. I think a full size is 35-ish. Um, so a half size isn't half the size of a full size, if you see what I mean. So the first thing to do, the neck's obviously been taken off this one, is to get the back off the, uh, off the fiddle. And the way I do that is uh, with a Stanley knife. Be careful with these, obviously and just go round the join at the back of it there just to loosen it off not too much with the knife just to start getting that open and then use something like a paint scraper and just lever that joint apart now there's a few stronger bits in a violin which is where you can uh, where you can do some damage and you can see here's the inside of it where's the camera there we are the strong bits are up here at the neck and down here at the heel of it and also there's a couple here at the uh, at these spiky bits that stick out of the side you might have to go through these side ones with a saw you'll definitely have to go through the, the one at the heel and the neck with a saw so once you've got the sides opened up I use a little saw like this which obviously only has one end to it you can just get in and cut through the uh, the heel and the neck bit to get the uh, the back off. Once it's off, I've glued a couple of little reinforcing blocks in. There's one there and one there. You can tell I'm not used to working backwards on a camera. And the reason for those is when you cut this neck piece out to fit the neck, the sides tend to spring out. So these blocks are just glued in place to uh, to try and stop the sides springing out. We'll see if that works later on. This is the headstock of the violin, the snail as they call it, and all you do is you cut down either side of that to separate the two halves. That's what I do anyway. So you have two halves like that that will fit onto the top of the neck. Um, the neck is a 40mm by 20mm piece of oak, and I glued a couple of ears on the top, and they've now been roughly shaped, as you can see, to take the uh, two half snails from the violin. So that's about as far as we've got so far. Uh, the next thing is to, to taper the neck down a bit so that it's a tapered neck, which looks better on a violin, and of course to, uh, to try and get some sort of scarf joint to get the angles right, because that's the tricky bit with a violin, getting the angle on the neck correct for the body and getting the bridge in the right place and all that sort of thing. Um, violins make uh, arch top Gibsons look quite flat, so smaller violins are probably easier because there's less, uh, the less um, curve in them but we'll see how it goes. That's where I've got so far. Um, I'm going to go away, fit this fingerboard to the neck, shape the neck, get it all fitted in, and then I'll do another little video clip to, um, to show you how I fitted, hopefully, the neck into the, uh, into the body of the fiddle. Cheers for now. Okay, this is the, uh, the second bit of how I make a fiddle stick, and I would stress that it's how I make a fiddle stick. Obviously, uh, the other techniques are available. Other people will do it differently. Uh, I'm just showing you how I do it. Last time we'd taken the back off the fiddle, uh, now we've got the neck, and you can see I've glued another piece of wood under the neck. Uh, if you had accurate sawing equipment or accurate sawing, uh, sawing techniques, you could probably do some sort of uh, scarf joint there, but, but I don't, so I just glue an extra bit of wood on the bottom and then we'll hack away at that as, as needs be. The neck's been tapered as well by about uh, four millimeters in total, so it's about 40 down to about 36. And I've got the fingerboard, which has also been uh, tapered too. Um, it's always a good idea to at least mark out the frets before you taper it, so you've still got a square edge. Uh, I've actually cut the fret slots in that, so uh, so that's almost almost done. The violin, as you can see, has had the neck cut out, and uh, there's a slot there now where the uh, the new neck will fit in. And what we can do now, you can see, you can start playing around with angles on the neck so we can get the neck and the fingerboard and start working out the bridge position and the bridge height basically start uh, working away at this uh, this reinforced neck to get the angle into the violin right 
Uh, I guess that's the trickiest bit really with uh, with building a fiddle stick is getting the angle of that neck uh, right so that the bridge is in the right place and at the right height. So uh, I'll go away and get my saws and files out and have a go at that and come back and see how we've done in, uh, in a couple of days. Well that happened sort of quicker than I thought. As you can see I've taken the, uh, the top of the neck down there, you can see that angle on it there. And the aim is to put your violin on like that. This little rib inside there goes right the way along the violin, you can take that down a bit as well. But put the violin onto the neck like that, have the fingerboard in place and then you can put a steel rule or a straight edge along it and you can see there you can make a judgement as to whether your bridge height is uh, is high enough, whether you've got enough room for pickups or whatever else you want to put in. But that's basically it done. So that's the tricky bit done. Uh, the rest of it is just filing the neck down, cosmetics, and uh, and making other bits and pieces like bridges and uh, and tail stops and uh, and that kind of thing. So I'll do a bit more work on that and then uh, then come back later. Right at this point, I've uh, sort of realised that I've got to do some work over the next few weeks. Um, that's outrageous, isn't it? I don't know how that happened. So the fiddle stick might uh, grind to a bit of a halt, and rather than put this video project in the pending tray and leave it there for a few weeks or a month, I've decided that what I'll do, I'll finish it off with photographs that I've got of the old fiddle stick, and uh, and you can get an idea of how I put that together. I mean, essentially, if you haven't made a cigar box guitar before, a basic one, then uh, I suggest you try those before you attack a violin, because uh, they're, they're slightly easier. And, uh, and you'll get a good feel for how you, uh, how you do the basics like making necks. Uh, if you want information on making necks and fretting them and that sort of thing, uh, there's loads of resources on places like Cigar Box Nation um, on, on how to do that and I don't think I could really add much to the party by doing a video on how to put frets in. So I'll show you some photographs of the, uh, the fiddlestick and, uh, and finish the video off with them. Okay, so this is how I installed the neck in the uh, in the previous fiddlestick. You can see there's two blocks where the neck goes into the uh, the violin body, and it's hot glued on there. Then at the other end, I built the neck up a bit, and there's a piece of brass you can see secured to the neck with two wood screws. Uh, that brass is bent round the outside, and there's a screw going through the tailpiece and into the neck, which holds it onto the violin body. I didn't want the thing held in too tightly, so I didn't use wood glue because if I ever wanted to get it out again, uh, that would be fairly easy. The little blocks on the side, uh, you can see that the tailpiece, they hold uh, metal inserts for screws so that you can screw the back on um, using metal sort of screws instead of wood screws. There's another insert at the other end where the neck comes into the body so you can take the, uh, the back off fairly easily. Uh, there's a lot of wiring there, there's uh, an Elmar's flat pup on the top and two piezos, a rod in the bridge and a disc in that cloth pad. The flat pup gets switched straight to the jack because that's how Elmar recommends you use them and the two piezos went through a blend pot and uh, and a volume pot and then then into the jack and you could have either piezos or the flat pub and the strings were earthed through the uh, the brass tail piece this is the headstock uh, i just fitted a piece of flat veneer to that and then uh, painted it gloss black and fitted the tuners the violin bits are popped over the top you have to fettle the holes a bit cut the holes the right size to get them to go over the uh, the tuners and the washers uh, but it's not too difficult and I glued that on with some uh, fairly weak rubber solution glue so again I can get them off, uh, get the violin bits off if I want to. The uh, string tree is made out of a wood screw and a bit of brass tube and the nut is made out of a, uh, a piece of chopstick filed down. Uh, this is the flat pup which is made by uh, Elmar in, uh, in Vienna. There's lots of people on Cigar Box Nation making uh, homemade pickups um, some of them are quite thin like this as well, uh, others more like your traditional sort of humbucker pickup. Uh, this is screwed through the top using four little screws and, uh, and nuts on the other side. And you can see I made legs, they're made out of a ballpoint pen refill uh, with a washer underneath them. So that's just screwed on the top to, um, to keep it in place. This is the other end, you can see the tail piece, there's that piece of brass you saw earlier that's bent round at sort of 90 degrees. The strings go through that and they're earthed and then there's a piece of plexiglass on the back to uh, to make things look pretty and hide the ends of the strings. There's a quite a long screw goes through the uh, the strap button, through the tailpiece, through the uh, the heel of the violin and into the neck and that sort of holds it all together. And you can also see the uh, the controls, the switches and the, the volume and the blend pod. This is the bridge. I made this out of a piece of, uh, piece of wood with a bit of plexiglass screwed to the top and the rod piezo is sandwiched between the wood and the plexiglass because they like a bit of pressure. 
Uh, on top of that there's a brass rod that I filed down to make the bridge and the whole thing floats, it's not bolted to the top of the violin at all, you can move it to get the intonation right and the, the wire from the pickup just goes through a hole in the, uh, in the top. Uh, so there we are, that's roughly how I put the, uh, the fiddlestick together, the, the last one in these photographs and that shows you what it looks like with the, uh, the flat pup and the, uh, the bridge and the brass tailpiece. Uh, if you're going to make one of these I suggest you have a go at a few ordinary cigar box guitars first because that'll, uh, that'll get, in your, get you in the hang of making necks and things like that but if you do have a go at a violin they, they are quite rewarding instruments once you've, uh, once you've got them right uh, but they do require quite a bit of fiddling around and it's, it's sort of individual to the, the violin so I can't really say measure a quarter of an inch here and, uh, and half an inch there because it'll, it'll depend on how you want to, uh, to set the thing up but if you do have a go at it uh, then, then good luck and I hope it turns out alright Cheers.